Hello, this is Kim. Welcome to Expressions of the Universe. Here are your weekly readings for Monday, November 23rd through Sunday, November 29th. I love when the cards come out and they really tell a story. Sometimes they're a little choppy. I can piece them together, but this week you'll see that they really kind of do flow with each other. So let's get started. When I was shuffling my angel card deck, and you know I love to pull the angel card first so that I can kind of get the overall energy, I pulled the card of detachment. Let's, let me get that in there for you. If you want, you can pause your screen at this time so that you can fully read the card. And detachment is pretty clear cut. If there's a person or things that you are overly attached to, you really need to work on releasing those and unattaching from yourself. I know this came up in the summer and it resonated with a lot of people, but it still seems that you're holding on to a person or some things or something that they represented. When you do that, you bind yourself to those things, to that person, and it's really unhealthy. So what this angel card is asking you to do, you can see that in the, in the reading, you can pause your screen. It's saying you really need to call on the angels and ask them to cut the cords to whatever it is that you're attached to um, so that you can live a healthy, prosperous, and productive life. What I find really interesting, and I know I say that every week, oh, this card is interesting. This is like the third week. This card fell out of the deck as well, and it's understanding, and it keeps coming up. Let me see if I can get that in there good for you. There's still, there are still things that you need to examine about yourself that you're not getting. Uh, something that is blocking you from taking that next step forward. But what goes hand in hand with that, I picked another card for clarity because, you know, third week with understanding, came up the card of wisdom. All of your answers lie within yourself. You really, really need to listen to that inner voice, not your ego voice, but that inner voice of your soul because it has the answers for you. And what I'm finding, what's pretty cool, is the crystal card that I picked for the week, randomly, is Bloodstone. Okay, I hope you could see that good. But I do have a Bloodstone here. Kind of see. Um, doesn't show up that good on the camera here but it's black it's red has like a kind of like maybe a little silvery tinge to it because I think it has some hematite in it well bloodstone first thing that came to my mind is root chakra problems the root is like right where you sit it's the base of your spine that place is all about our security what makes us feel safe when you have a blocked or um, clogged root chakra you're going to feel insecure you're not going to be able to feel dependent you're going to feel like you don't have enough money you don't have enough of whatever it is that you feel like you need um, the root chakra is so important because that lines up all the rest of our chakras throughout our body. The bloodstone actually works really well for all of the lower chakras, which would be the root, the sacral, which is right below your belly button, and then your solar plexus chakra, which is like right under your rib cage. Um, having a piece of bloodstone or even black tourmaline or onyx will help strengthen your root chakra. It'll clear it out, keep it in alignment. It's really good to meditate and focus on that area. You want to picture the color red when you're doing that for your uh, root chakra. And it will help you build a sense of security. So if you're having a fear of detaching from someone or something that you really need to, 
it's probably because you are kind of feeling insecure. So you want to build that root chakra and then you will be able to feel secure within yourself. So to further this story, a card deck that I really don't think I've used so far, um, this is the Ascended Master Mother Mary. Some people look at her as a religious figure. I am not religious, but I acknowledge Mary as being an Ascended Master. And the card that I chose, it's number 30, and it is called Our Lady of Growth Assured. Okay? And what this means to me is by you detaching and building that that root, your security, your growth is assured. The next step is coming. However, you really need to have some perseverance. You need to have some patience. And also, she's asking you to remain optimistic because with this being card number 30, that's Ascended Masters right there. So, you are being watched over. Your path, your destiny, it's already pre-planned. These things that you're asking for to come your way, they are on your their way. However, it they'll come to you in the perfect time. You just have to persevere and remain patient. And you need to remain optimistic the entire time as well. Because if you are you know thinking negative thoughts you're only going to delay what it is that you're asking for so I love uh, you know the wisdom of the Avalon card deck from Colette Baron Reed I picked which is number 30 again and she's the fire fairy and she's also reminding us to remain optimistic because what it is that we desire is on its way but you have to keep your thoughts good. You have to uh, realize that you are being watched over. These things are coming to you, but you really have to keep a happy heart. So I can hear animals digging into things that they shouldn't be, and I don't want to disrupt my reading. Um, I next chose from another Colette Baron Reed deck, and this is her newest deck, The Wisdom oracle deck and I believe this is number 10 and it is what is this unfinished symphony what I picked up with this is it's time for us to tie up loose ends and you know clean house get ready for what it is that you've been asking for what it is you've been waiting for tie up those loose ends and get ready for this because it is coming that's what I feel unfinished symphony is. You still have some unfinished business that you need to take care of before you can move forward and reap the rewards. I know you've been asking for something. It might be, you know, a new job, a new person, a new social situation, um, some new opportunities. They are coming. It, I kind of feel that you've been asking for something that's like kind of totally oddball maybe just know that it's coming but you kind of have to you know get your ducks in a row tie up these loose ends take care of your unfinished business so that you can open up the doorway for what it is that you've been asking for the next card is also kind of tying in with that and it's card number 52 and it's called mending and what mending is about is forgiveness. So I don't know if you know, you're feeling guilty because you want to detach from something. You want to get rid of some things that no longer serve you any purpose. And you're kind of feeling guilty about it. I'm telling you, you need to forgive yourself right now for the way that you're feeling. If you need to actually go and forgive somebody for something or apologize to them in advance because you're moving on in a new direction then go do this this is also about tying up those loose ends there could be some arguments that ensue because you are changing direction you're wanting a new path you want something new in your life you want things to be good and some people are not going to be happy with that forgive them 
for their behavior, forgive yourself, so that you can be ready for when this wonderful, wonderful, magical thing arrives at your door. And I have one final card for tonight, and it is card number 26, and it's called Happy Happy. So you take care of all of these things. You detach from whoever it is that you've been trying to detach from or the things that you have been trying to detach. You keep your thoughts optimistic. You go with inside and, you know, you seek out your soul's wisdom. You get all of these things lined up. You tie up your loose ends. You finish your unfinished business. You do your mending, which involves forgiveness and not feeling guilty. And guess what? It arrives. Happy, happy. Look how happy she is. I would like to have a dress like this and dance on top of a little leg. That looks like a lot of fun. Um, but this just goes to show you that good times are ahead. That really special thing that you have been asking for, it is on its way. Um, so keep your head up. Do your homework, your, your inner homework, and you'll be able to be happy, happy. We just entered, um, the sun is in Aquarius right now, so we're changing out of that emotional, crabby kind of uh, Scorpio energy, and we're going into a fire action mode Sagittarius um, energy. We also have a full moon right now, so anything that you want to manifest, definitely use fire. Don't set your house on fire. Um, you can use candles. I do like to do a bonfire. I'm hoping uh, that I can make it to fire ceremony, but I am just beyond exhausted. So I'm going to listen to my body, and I think I'm going to take a really good rest, maybe a hot salt bath, and get ready for um, a very productive week. But just keep in mind that the full moon is for two full days, two and a half full days. And this is the time that you want to... Um, you know, do your manifestation. It's a great time to get rid of the things that you don't want. Don't be surprised that when you're trying to get rid of something, if you put out that intention that you're trying to get rid of a person, don't be surprised if they're blowing up your phone, either, you know, by calling you or texting you, showing up at your door. That just means that they feel that energy of you pulling away. And then that means that you did your job. Um, a lot of people think that, oh no, you know, they're blowing up my phone and they won't leave me alone, so I'm obviously not doing the right thing. No, that means that you did do your job because they are energetically feeling you pull away. Um, my shaman told me that because I always thought that it meant that I, I didn't do it right. So, if you can, go make a bonfire. You can write your intentions out on a piece of paper throw it in the fire, let it go out to the universe. You could do the same with a candle, make a little bonfire in your kitchen sink. If you can't, if you live in an apartment, um, don't burn your house down. Um, or you can even light a candle and just think the intentions, kind of like a prayer or a meditation. And I guess uh, that's about all I have for you. So since I do have a couple more minutes, before YouTube will kick me out. Right before I made this video, I realized that I had not polished my nails and they were chipped and horrible looking. So I, I just quick like filled in the chips and I'm hoping that it doesn't show up on camera. Um, but this hand, horrible, I'll show you. Horrible. And then this hand, that's in my little fill in. So, um, I'm crazy, I'm kooky, but that's me. I hope you all have a really great week. Um, make sure that you utilize this full moon. Get rid of anything that no longer serves you. Please, please do it so that you can start the new year wonderfully. Thank you, blessings, and have a great week.